Hey everybody, Evan here for another HTV Spotlight. This week we've got Jeremy Zucker of Keller Williams New York Realty. Hi Jeremy. Hey Evan. So we know COVID-19 has caused a lot of people to move out of New York City and delayed a lot of people's move to New York City. Uh, do, you see, do you see that trend continuing into 2021? And um, how do you see it correcting itself? Well, for the sake of my business, I hope so. Uh, thanks for having me on the Agent Spotlight. You guys are awesome. Thank you for showcasing my listings and uh, doing a great job. So, um, so I work in the Westchester County market and it's been really busy, like you said. And um, I can sort of answer that two ways, one on the buyer side and one on the selling side. So with the pool of buyers that I'm working with now, um, it's actually been really busy, not surprisingly. Um, people are actively looking in the, in the winter months because they want to get ahead of what they think is going to be a very busy spring market. And I, and I tend to agree with them. So um, these are people who have either lost bidding wars over the course of the past year or who just didn't find the right house. So that's on the, that's on the buying side. And on the selling side, the homes that we're bidding on and the sellers that I represent, I generally see that there's a lot less uh, price flexibility. So against the backdrop of less than normal inventory, lower than normal inventory, uh, we have eager buyers and we have sellers who are pretty confident in their asking prices. So I think that we're setting ourselves up for continued growth and uh, momentum in the market. So people are still attracted to the Westchester area. Definitely. It's a great place to live. Sure. Yeah. What do you find so, I know you live and work there. What, what's so attractive about Westchester? What are some of the amenities and hotspots? Well, first of all, it's beautiful. You know, we just went through a nice fall with leaves changing and apple picking and socially distance, of course. And it's just a great place to live. You know, you can hop in your car or get on the train and be in Midtown Manhattan in 30 minutes. You can also go the other direction and be at, you know, great hiking and camping. And it's a lot of fun. It's a great place to live. It's a great home base. That's true. I love Westchester. Now, I know mm -hmm. you previously worked in finance and then you moved into real estate. Um, what's the biggest difference between the finance world and the real estate world? And what kind of skills did you, you know, bring to it? <laughs> well, I, um, I was a trader on Wall Street and... I, I tended to spend a lot more time in front of my computer, and now I work with people a lot more, which, which I like. So I enjoy being out there, and I like showing houses. It's a lot of fun to be, to be, um, to see how other people live, and to walk through a home and and point out the the benefits and the drawbacks of, of properties, and really help people in a, in a very personal way. So I sure. enjoy that. And I bet you bring a lot of you know analytical financial thinking that maybe some people don't necessarily have when they approach real estate. Coming from a fin finance background, I track the real estate market very closely. Um, so uh, on the buying side and on the selling side, I represent my clients strongly um, using, using all the data that we have in real estate. So when I go on listing appointments you know, to interview with a seller, I often find that um, they say, wow, I've, nobody's, nobody else has shown me this and I've met with four or five agents. So that doesn't mean I get the listing because sometimes, you know, even though I might be right with the data, they don't like what the data says, but at some point I'm right when it finally sells. And how important do you find that digital media is in terms of buying and selling and showing houses? So it's always been important. It's even more important now. And I think that's going to continue to be the case because people are sitting at home, right? Especially now as it gets colder, people are at home and they're, they're looking for houses. They're dreaming about what could be. They're planning their next move and being able to walk through a house virtually, looking at pictures, you know, panning through a property and a virtual floor plan or video certainly is is really it really sets your listing apart from other people's so it's very important it's true another and another interesting thing to say sorry no no is that uh, i'm on the on the listing side when i'm working with sellers it's important to show them the metrics like how many people are actually looking at the listing so i can i can use that as as data to argue for a price reduction or to tell them hey we have a really strong market and we can hold firm because of the traffic that we have online Sure, and as you say, with the inflexibility in terms of price and how quickly and strongly people are moving, that data really helps to convince buyers and sellers to move quickly. Definitely, yes. Awesome. Thank you, Jeremy, and we'll see you next week for another Spotlight. Thank you.